Hello, this is the Green Corn Rebellion Show. I'm Gregory Hardin II, and today I am here with Alicia Andrews, who is the chair of the Oklahoma Democratic Party. How are you doing today? I, I'm great this afternoon. How are you, Gregory? I'm doing all right. Um, first question I have here is, where are you from and where did you grow up? So I'm gonna say that I'm from Tulsa. Um, I say that because I graduated high school here, but I was raised in um, Oklahoma City, Midwest City. Um, so I'm an Oklahoma girl. I mean, I was born elsewhere, but I've been here off and on since I was four. So I consider myself an Oklahoma girl. My parents are from Oklahoma. All right, that's cool. And what did you do prior to getting active in politics? So just just prior to um, uh, being elected the secretary of Tulsa County and while I was that, I'm, I was a realtor. So I've been a realtor since 2007. So I've been a realtor for a long time. But prior to that, I, um, I was a consultant where I wrote business plans for um, startup businesses or business who, businesses who were changing direction uh, in order to help them get funding um, to grow, grow their business. That's cool. And what made you want to get active in politics? So I cared about politics, you know, all my life. Um, and that sounds crazy or sounds like something I'm supposed to say, but I have always cared. I mean, you know, I got sent home from school in junior high school for throwing a fit about um, Reagan getting credit for the Iran, for releasing the hostages, the Iranian hostages. I, I still to this day don't believe that he should get credit, but I got sent home from school, junior high, while well, throwing a fit about that. But how I got involved in um, Oklahoma Democratic part, uh, politics, it, party politics, this is my third time. And I would go over, I would show up at luncheons, I would try and talk to people and I just never felt comfortable. And I had the kinds of jobs that didn't allow so, that much flexibility. As a realtor, if you schedule pr uh, properly, you have a little bit more flexibility in your schedule. And so I just, after Trump, you know, I'm, I'm one of those people, after Trump, I wouldn't go away, right? I just showed up and said, give me something to do. And they'd say, we'll call you next week. And, and I was like, no, I'm just gonna be here. So I'm just gonna stay sitting right here uncomfortably until you give me something to do. And finally, you know, um, I got involved in a bunch of committees helping organize things and, and, you know, just really involved. And someone said, you should run for secretary. And I was like, I don't even know what the secretary does. I don't know enough people. I'm good to be here in the background. But that's, that's how I got involved in party politics. That's cool. Um, and um, let's see. And what made you want to run for chair of the party back in 2019? So um, as, as secretary of the second largest um, county, right? I felt like there was so much more support that the party could be giving us. And frankly, um, like I felt like we should be getting. And then it also occurred to me as I was thinking those what sound like entitled thoughts if Tulsa wasn't getting it, perhaps the smaller counties weren't getting it either, right? And then I was on staff with the coordinated camp campaign of 2018 and felt like there were so many opportunities for the party to grow. And with my background in organizational development and you know working with startups and, and those kind of things, I felt like I had something to offer. So that's what made me, and I felt like I could offer it better you know, from a statewide perspective than from the second largest county. So that's what made me run. I felt like, you know, we were in a place where um, the party would, would be um, ready to consider voting for somebody outside of Oklahoma City. All right. Episodes of the Green Corn Rebellion Show were brought to you by Addie Sugar Shack, located at 1228 North Interstate Drive in Norman, Oklahoma. Norman's new shaved ice concept. They feature 45 flavor options plus unique snacks. They love the vibe. It's worth the drive. Um, and what all have you done since you've been chair? You know, um, when I was running, 
I traveled to a lot of uh, rural communities and I told them that I would be back, right? Because frankly, we can't win a statewide race without rural communities. And so pre-COVID, I put myself on a steady stream of, you know, where I was going to three to five rural, um, rural meetings a week right? So that I was going out, you know, getting in my car and I had to buy a new car because I was afraid to be on the road as much as I was with the car that I had, but I was on the road driving to as many rural communities as would have me. So, so there's that. Um, when I, when I got to the party, it had been become just accepted, just okay that the party was in debt. Um, our prior chair wasn't the chair that got us into debt. Um, she inherited debt and the chair before he, before her, he inherited debt. And so it just became a thing that the party was always gonna be in debt. Um, so it turns out that the party was in what I, I believe was insurmountable debt um, because nobody would give us credit on anything. We had to pay for everything up front. So I've gotten the party out of, out of debt. Um, in my tenure, we've done um, three holistic um, training programs um, for volunteers, activists, and new candidates, um, which are more training than we've, we've had in, in recent years. Um, I've beefed up our relationship with the media. Um, our prior chair, for reasons that I now understand, kind of went on a media a hiatus, but what that did was that kept our message from getting out there. And so I do three to five interviews a week you know, making sure that people all over the state are hearing somebody say Oklahoma Democratic Party so that they know we're here and that we're fighting. Um, another thing is I've kept staff um, and I've never missed payroll. I'm very proud of that um, because I can say that where prior chairs hasn't been able to say that. And so, and then we're also um, compliant with uh, our ethics reporting, which is kind of how the sausage is made stuff, but it's really important because when you ask people for money, which is what I do all day, when you ask people for money, they need to know where the money's going and that it's transparent and we're there now. All right, that all sounds really good. Um, episodes of the Green Corn Rebellion show are sponsored by Oklahoma Progress Now. Oklahoma Progress Now is a 501c4 organization focused on building progressive power in Oklahoma. Their primary efforts are on developing progressive content for a 21st century audience, coalition, and capacity building across progressive organizations and causes, and working to see elected leaders who are more responsive to their constituents and the needs of the many. Areas of focus include progressive messaging and communications, coalition building and resource sharing, and focused progressive policy goals. You can check out their Twitch live streams and they go uh, live on Facebook on at noon, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Please support this organization. It's a really great organization. It's just getting started here in Oklahoma. Uh, thank you. Now enjoy the rest of the video. Let's see. And you're planning on running for chair again. I um, am running again. Yeah. Um, what all are you wanting to do in your second term as chair? Absolutely. So when I ran the first time, I said that I wanted to um, build our infrastructure. And I said that not knowing um, how far away from that we were. So I like to think of it as like a house because I'm a realtor. I like to think of it as a house. So I came in and we just had to bulldoze everything and get a clean slate. And so now we have a clean slate and we are, you know, we're out of debt and we can make plans going forward. And so that's what I'm working on. And the three things that I think that the party should be focused on um, for the next two years, there's a lot of stuff that we need to do, but you can really only focus on so many. The three things that I think we need to be doing is uh, recruiting candidates for 2022, because that's a big deal. That's all of our statewide. It's midterms. There's going to be a lot going on. And we've already started that. I have a little subcommittee working on that now. Um, engage, um, engage our voters and do voter expansion. I don't want to talk about it as voter registration, because it's not enough to register voters. In, in Oklahoma, I mean, we had a presidential year, and I think something like 60% of registered voters participated. So that's registered voters. And so 
I'm talking voter expansion. So that's not just registering people, but it's staying in touch and engaged with them until they become voters. Because usually once you start voting, you continue voting. So candidate recruitment, voter expansion, and then developing a statewide message and getting it out there. Because one of the big, big struggles with voters registration and candidate recruitment is what do the Democrats stand for? And so I've been having conversations with House leadership and Senate leadership about what is the message that we want to get out there and what is the message that we want to get our candidates talking about and what kind of message can the party amplify if candidates are talking about. So those are the three things that um, I'm working on for the next two years. All right, that sounds really good. Um, and last question I have here is what kind of music do you listen to? Somehow I thought you were gonna ask that. So um, obviously my favorite artist is Prince and I don't know if we can categorize him in a kind of music, but if you ask me my favorite kind of music, I'm gonna date myself. I like New Jack Swing. That's my favorite kind of music. <laughs> but because that's the music of, you know, my teens. All right. Well, that's cool. Um, thank you for coming on. It means a lot. Um, where can we find you on social media and what other things related to the party would you like to plug before you go? So um, social media, my Twitter handle is Alicia ODP Chair. Um, I'm just Alicia Andrews on Facebook. And then there's Alicia Andrews for ODP Chair, Oklahoma Democratic Party Chair on Facebook as well. Um, the things that I want you guys to be looking for, we've revamped the party Facebook page and we're putting a lot of stuff out there messaging wise and, and things that we're working on. We have an electronic uh, online voters registration tool. I'd love for you to check out. So those are kind of, and we also have a Democrat store. So get you some Democrat swag, get Democrat swag. So those are things I like to highlight. All right, sounds good. Thanks. Thank you.